Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. It was recently confirmed that there will be a new Super Smash Bros. game coming for the Switch, and that means we'll be seeing some new Smash characters. We already know the Inkling kids are on their way, but chances are there will be some other familiar faces added to the game. So let's talk about some characters we haven't seen yet in Smash, but we hope to see in the new game. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by throwing us a thumbs up down below. And if you want more, check out our video on why Sonic is the best Super Smash character, even though he isn't. But before you do that, get ready, it's time for the Top 10 characters we want in Super Smash Bros. Switch. Number 10, Waluigi. I mean, come on. Just about every other Mario character has had a chance to shine in Smash. Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Wario, even frickin' Daisy. But why no Waluigi? Why Nintendo? Oh, well, he's too skinny? Are you, are you thin shaming him? I mean, in reality, it's probably more that he doesn't really have any unique characteristics to differentiate his abilities, but I so badly want to play Mario and Luigi against Wario and Waluigi, and I will not be denied. Then mods don't count. Side note, is it Wario or Wario? It should, I always pronounce it Wario, but then it's like Mario, Wario. Let me know in the comments. I'm confused. Number 9, Lara Croft. Lara Croft has been a video game staple since her first game in 1996, and I think she'd fit beautifully into the new Smash Bros. She's a Square Enix property, so it might be a bit tricky, but she's been in a bunch of Nintendo games already. Plus, Cloud was already let in. Actually, now that I think of it, there's a pretty damn good chance she will be in it. And diversity? Check. Popularity? Check. Hotness? Super check. Plus, it would synergize well with the new game and movie coming out. My only concern is that there might be some issues with rights because of the movie. Who knows? Not me, that's for damn sure. Number 8. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight was originally an indie game created by Yacht Club Games, but was released onto the 3DS and Wii U with great success. The game won a whole whack of awards, and Shovel Knight has since made cameos in a number of games, including Rumbo and Blaster Master Zero. So he's got his popularity on lock. Plus, his shovel and magic also allow for some pretty wicked attacks. Not only that, since he comes from an action platformer, it'd be pretty easy changing his attacks over to Smash Bros. Nice. Number 7. Captain Toad. We've been wanting to see Toad in Smash games for a while, and after the success of his newish puzzle game, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, he's totally set up to join. This could even kill two birds with one stone if they include his partner Toadette in an Ice Climbers S character. Toad has been left out for too long. Number 6. Travis Touchdown. Travis Touchdown comes from No More Heroes, in case you're not up to date on your Wii games. He's the anti-heroic protagonist of the game, and coming from a hack and slash game, he was destined to join Smash. His beam katana is awesome, he can have some wicked combos, and his pro wrestling training would lead to some hilarious abilities. Plus, they could even include his dark side powers in some way, possibly having a Zelda Sheik type character swap, or else use it in his final Smash. Be pretty bonkers. Number 5. King K. Rool is one such a winner. I can't believe we haven't seen him yet. King K. Rool is the big bad from the Donkey Kong games, basically DK's Bowser. The thing is, there are a bunch of baddies already included. And Mario has Bowser, Link has Ganondorf, Fox has Wolf, and DK definitely needs his scary crocodile villain. He'd definitely be slow, like Bowser and DDD, but he could have some cool attacks with his tail. And if I'm including DK's enemy, I'd better include Sonic's baddie. Number 4. Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, we need more villains in Smash, and if we're not getting K. Rool, I I'd love me some Eggman. Or both. Both is good. Eggman could be a lot of fun. You could have all sorts of abilities stemming from his various technological inventions. Plus, his lumbering mass would look hilarious scuttling across the stage. Even if Eggman isn't in the game, they should definitely include another Sonic character. And you know who that should be? Number 3. Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, you guys probably aren't too surprised about this one since I like Shadow a fair bit, but I think Sonic needs a buddy. Mario has Luigi, Fox has Falco, Link has Zelda, and a cartoon version of himself for goodness sake. And I think Sonic needs Shadow. He could have some pretty cool abilities using Chaos Control, and I think it'd be a great addition to the roster. And I'd probably main him. Number 2. At least one new Pokemon. Yeah, we've seen our fair share of Pokemon over the years of Smash, but it took up a sixth of the first game's roster. And for good reason, Pokemon rocks and is a Nintendo staple. So we'll probably be getting a new one from the newer games. A lot of people want Litten, but personally, I think Alolan Doug Trio would be perfect. Mechanically, it'd be totally useless, but aesthetically, you know, those golden locks speak for themselves. Number one, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, this one might be a bit of a long shot, but a nerd can dream. It'd be awesome to finally see Crash, Sonic, and Mario fight it out in the great battle of the mascots. But Sony will probably hang on to Crash pretty tightly. True, they let Snake go into Smash Bros, but with Crash being such a significant character, there's a good chance Nintendo will have to shell out some pretty big bucks if they want him in the new game. But I'd love it, because I really like Crash. Plus, now that the Insane Trilogy is going over to Switch, the doors at least open a crack. 
That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. Let me know who you want to see in the new game in the comment section down below. Also, check out our Top 10 Sonic playlist for more videos like this one. Until next time, I'm Rob McKenzie Lafergie with Top 10 Gaming. Later, gamers.